Hi, I'm Jeffrey Palermo, and you're watching Russ Cam. Hi, this is Russ Fastino from the MVP Summit out in Bellevue, Washington. We have a great show on tap for you over here from Jeffrey Palermo's Party with Palermo. Been doing it for many years. Lots of MVPs are expected to show up. Uh, Grape City's happy to be a sponsor here at this event out at the uh, MVP Summit. You've been doing this for quite some time now, the Party with Palermo. First one was in 2005, right before the Tech Ed Conference. There was one that had 435 people at a nightclub that I just rented out. Yeah. Um, and the had a really good round of sponsors that year, and we rented out the entire club, and it was the biggest one ever. It, it all started because there was nothing going on the night before Tech Ed. And, and a lot of conferences, there's nothing going on the night before. Everyone's getting into town. They're trying to hook up with their friends, um, but nothing's going on. So I thought, you know, why don't I just say, uh, hey, everybody come here. What are you looking forward to most this week at, uh, at the MVP Summit? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what the direction of the Microsoft platform is doing. Um, you know, there's, there's things that we keep up year round and, and um, little bits and pieces, but at the MVP Summit, it all comes together and the, and the, and the folks who are working hard on the product teams, they sort of do a show and tell, hey, this is what we're really working on. And of course, it's up to us to keep it secret, but that's the, you know, that's the contract that we signed. The well, when I was at Microsoft, I went to quite a few of the MVP summits. And uh, I think uh, this is my favorite conference, you know, out of all the conferences I've been to. And it's because you got all the PMs from Redmond. They know they are got the cream of the crop in the audience. They got to be on their game and they got new stuff. You know, it's, it's always a great, great show. Right. And it always has Scott Guthrie himself showing you know some of the some of the new cool things that are coming out, and there's there's a lot of things going on uh, in the Microsoft development platform, so it's really exciting. Well, rumor has it that Scott Guthrie is actually going to put a recipe in .NET Gurus Can Cook version two. How about that? Hey, that's <laughs> exciting. That's exciting. How about you? I'm definitely going to do it again. I, I put some uh, the Italian grits in the last one. I'll definitely contribute another recipe this time around. Ted Neward. Hi, folks. I work as an architectural consultant for New Desic LLC. Myself, I do a lot of .NET stuff. I do a lot of Java stuff. I, you know, really haven't met a programming language I didn't fall in love with for at least a couple of days. I do the back cover editorial for Code Magazine, and then I also have a monthly column in MSDN Magazine, and I'm actually doing some columns with uh, Oracle TechNet. I've been an MVP now for five or six years. I think never in the same area twice. I've been a C-sharp, and then an architect, and then C-sharp again, and now I'm F-sharp. 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 No fool. No fooling. Even when I was in college, man, I used to do like Lisp, you know, and I just loved it, you know, I just loved it. It was great stuff. And that's one of the things I think that, that, that F-sharp particularly does well, is kind of introduce some of these interesting functional concepts into the wider general purpose platform that is .NET. But you do, you do, you, you run into a lot of the functional folks who are like in F sharp, who are like, ah, but but what's all this object crap? Let's get rid of it. And you know, those guys, they they, you know, go back to Haskell. We we don't really, we don't really, you know, there's there's not a lot of room for them. Um, there's not a lot of room for zealotry in the F sharp camp. You know, it's kind of like you want to do objects, you want to do functions, you want to do both. We love you. I want to apologize. I wanted to get you on Rust Cam when I was up at the Code Mash up in Sandusky. You gave a great keynote. I thoroughly enjoyed that. The vibe there is just great. Here, I, here I was coming up from uh, Tampa. Is where I live, and I was coming up there, and it was like minus ten with chill factor, four inches of snow, and it was like an eighty degree difference, you know, from what I was used to. So, anyway, but it was a great, great. Uh, those guys do a great job up there. Yeah, and and you know the fact that you're complaining about the eighty degree difference, everybody in the Midwest is looking at this this recording right now and going, "Hey, Russ." Too bad. <laughs> I know it. you're right about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, I get I get accustomed to that. You know, you go down there and it's like every day you walk outside without a jacket. You know, you know confidently that you don't need it. You know, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> This episode of Russ Cam is brought to you by Spread from Grape City Power Tools. So, Carl. Yeah, Richard. You ever embed Excel into an application? Oh, you know, that's right up there with sticking ice picks in my ears. Nice. Because your end users have to have the right version of Office and all of that stuff, yeah. and it has that extra layer of dependency. 
What I want is just a way to take all that Excel goodness and plop it right into my .NET application. Well, you reminded me of Farpoint Spread from the old days. 20 years ago. Yeah, no I used kidding. Farpoint Spread. But now, it's, of course, it's Grape City Power Tools Spread. Spread.NET from Grape City Power Tools. Smarter components for smarter developers. Go to gvtv.gcpowertools.com, your online source for developer news. Plus, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah.